Uh, thanks, Kareem. Um, the President last week on Friday said that it would be, quote, irresponsible to abolish the debt ceiling, the, the limit on, uh, on debt. There are a number of Democrats and the Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, who have said in the past that uh, that should be considered, or they've advocated for getting rid of it altogether to allow uh, Congress to pay for the things that have already been um, you know, passed into law. Um, does the President disagree with the Treasury Secretary, um, and does he think it would be more irresponsible to abolish the debt ceiling or to allow it to become a political football that Republicans and Democrats negotiate over with the uh, full faith and credit of the, the country hanging in the balance? So as it comes, as it relates to uh, Secretary Yellen's uh, um, comments, I would have to see them in full, so in order for me to respond, but I can tell you this. Uh, the president believes that it should not be used as a political football. Uh, and the, the thing that we are responding to, uh, and just want to be very clear here, the reason why we're responding, uh, you heard from the president last week, and he's been very clear about the debt ceiling, is because what Republicans are trying to do, they have been clear as well. They have said, if we do not put Medicare and Social Security on the chopping blocks, if they were, I want to be very careful, if they were to uh, to have the majority, that they would hold essentially the government for host on hostage when it relates, as it relates to the debt, the debt ceiling. And that is something that should not happen. That is what we're responding to. That is what we're talking about and calling out what Republicans are doing. And, you know, it is, it is, um, it is, you know, it is not, uh, it is a, it is, you know, it is reckless. It is playing a reckless game with our economic, with our economy. And it would be catastrophic if they were to do that. It would not help inflation. It would hurt inflation if Republicans were to do that. Uh, you would increase cost for uh, our seniors. You would increase costs for American families. That's what they want to do. And so that that is, uh, the president has been very clear about that, about not using uh, the debt limit uh, as a political football. And he'll continue to speak to that and speak against that as uh, as Republicans lay out, congressional Republicans lay out what, uh, you know, what they want to do uh, in the next uh, couple of months. Is there a world in which the president might uh, reconsider based on you know the threat that you just laid out, uh, this thing that a number of Democrats are calling for, abolishing the debt limit and allowing this to not be uh, political football? Look, the president's been very clear. Um, he is calling out the scheme that he's seen from congressional Republicans when it comes to health care costs, uh, when it comes to uh, the economy, when it comes to people's Medicare and Social Security. It is a scheme that they're putting out there to put seniors at their knees. Uh, and that's shameful. And that should be uh, the conversation that we should be having. That should be what he believes we should call out. And again, that should not, when it comes to the debt limit, it should not be used as a political football. Catch gotcha.